Hey guys and welcome back. Um, today I'm going to show you a trick to learn the evolution of myocardial infarction. Um, note that I've taken this from Pathoma, which is a fantastic resource that I highly recommend you checking out to prepare you for your board exams. Now, the reason I'm bringing this is because I don't want you to have to rummage through videos to find it. I'm just trying to bring you tricks um, that you can easily learn within two, three minutes. All right, so this diagram is going to divide major events into a day, a week, and a month, give or take. The first event that you should know is um, that you're going to see early coagulative necrosis. And that's going to give a dark modeling appearance to the heart um, in the area of infarct. Don't worry about this line just yet. Second event within a day and a week is going to bring in the inflammatory cells. Um, that includes the neutrophils first, uh, followed by macrophages. And that's going to give a yellow pallor appearance to the heart. Within a week and a month, you're going to see granulation tissue being laid out. And that's going to give a red border appearance around the infarct of the heart. And that is because you're laying down connective tissue and you're bringing down these tiny vessels to recanalize and revascularize that area you know, to prepare it for healing. And our last event is going to be laying down of a scar um, after, the, after a month. And that's going to be a white scar, of course. So um, I, there's something I want you to be able to tell apart for board exams purposes. The scar is going to have type 1 collagen, whereas the granulation tissue is going to have type 3 collagen that is going to be secreted by fibroblasts. Please don't make that mistake. They will try to confuse you in the answer choices. Scar is type 1, granulation tissue is type 3. Next up, this line is just going to summarize, I guess, the key event or complication that you should worry about um, around each event. So within the first day, we're very worried about arrhythmias because it can cause sudden death in this patient. Um, fibrinous pericarditis. Fibrinous pericarditis is going to occur within a day and a week um, while your inflammatory cells are doing work. And that is going to be because of the neutrophils, actually. And that can only happen due to if you have a transmural infarction, meaning that you had a ST elevation type of myocardial infarction, a STEMI. Within a week and a month, when you're laying down granulation tissue, your biggest concern is papillary muscle rupture, um, which can lead to a tamponade, tamponade. And uh, after a month, while you're laying down the scar, your biggest concern is you could see Dressler syndrome, which basically is antibodies, antibodies to the pericardium, which will lead to pericarditis. And uh, you could actually see aneurysms, you could see, you could have increased risk of a mural thrombus, but um, out of all of these, the most tested, uh, in my opinion, would be the arrhythmias, just because it's sudden and it's fatal. All right, so thank you guys, and I'll see you later.